Yo, what is up, everybody? Bleezy with Bleezy38 coming at you once again. And today, boom, shakalaka. We're talking Miami Dolphins. I wanted to get right back into this. This kind of been on my mind a little bit, so I wanted to go ahead and do this video. I've got three things for the Miami Dolphins to look out for. Three key things that, in my opinion, are the top three things that the Miami Dolphins need to look out for to have a successful season coming up in 2022. Let's get right into it. Number one, coaching. Okay? I know that's pretty obvious, but right now, I, we have a new head coach. Okay? So I'm talking about coaching on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. Okay? Just because we had a really good defense last year, it wasn't that very good in the first eight games when we lost seven in a row. All this coaching needs to come together. Well, we don't know. We don't know if they're going to be good or not. So coaching is my number one um, fact, key factor for the Dolphins. Number two, offensive line. And this is one of the main reasons I scaled back from 11 or 12 wins to possibly around 10 wins. Because right now, at the end of last season, I said we need a new left tackle and we need a new right tackle. That simple. What we do, we went out, we got a left tackle. Did not do anything with the right tackle to his blindside position. So we're sticking with what we've had there, which has not been good. And our lack of depth on our O-line is concerning to me. I think it's concerning to a lot of people, but right now we don't even have a backup center, guys. We don't have a backup center. So what happens if our center gets hurt? We, we move Williams over here. We're, we're, it's almost we're on the verge of almost starting our offensive line shuffle like we had last year. That, I don't like that either. Okay, the biggest factors for the Miami Dolphins, number one, coaching. Number two, offensive line. Number three, avoid the curse. Ha-ha. <laughs> this is one nobody's talking about. Okay? But there's a lot of speculation out there. You talk to any hardcore Miami Dolphins fan, they'll tell you that the Dolphins, a lot of people say the Dolphins are cursed. Okay? They built, the, they built Hard Rock on an Indian burial ground. Okay, guys? That is, that is no joke. That's a fact. You can look it up. And so... You know, so many bizarre things. Last year was bizarre for the Dolphins. Start off one and seven, finished seven and one. Had Deshaun Watson controversy swirling all over. The whole nation was talking about Deshaun Watson at the trade deadline. I mean, that was crazy. The year before, we had Fitz getting benched for Tua, the Tua getting benched for Fitz, and this and that. The offensive coordinator calling two different schemes during the same game for two different quarterbacks. Bizarre stuff, man. Bullygate back in the day. You know, just all the, I mean, we could go on and on forever for the bizarre stuff that happens to the Dolphins. It really didn't happen to any other team. That's the curse. And right now, we're, we're, we're rolling around along pretty smooth. Okay, we're not getting hit by a curse at this point. Avoid the curse. No craziness. No bizarreness this year. Let's play some good, clean football and dominate. Bam! Those are my three things. Coaching, offensive line, avoid the curse. That's it. I'm going to keep an eye on the curse this year. Hopefully, we're not going to have any part of it. But I'm going to be looking out for it. Okay? I suggest you do, too. You heard me? Please, you coming at you. Comment below. Congratulations to my girl, Kimberly Reason, who won this Yeti mug in my contest. Kimberly autographed Yeti mug. Yeti coffee mug, by the way. Miami Dolphins color. Yes, I did the contest. Gave this away, no entry fee, no raffles, none of that. It's coming straight to her. She just won that. I'll be doing another contest. Look out for it. Jump in on it in the future. But that's it. I appreciate you watching. I'll let you go. Bleezy coming at you once again. Subscribe below. Let's get to 400. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. We're off and running. Bleezy coming at you. Comment below. Let me know what you think about my three key factors. Coaching, offensive line, avoid the curse. We'll see you.